that answer, the team from Palo Verde High School in Las Vegas won the 2010 Nevada Regional Science Bowl, becoming the area's entry in the United States Department of Energy's National Science Bowl. Earlier that same day, some 200 competitors and coaches representing 32 high schools from all over Nevada, as well as parts of Utah, Arizona, and California, started their quest to become the Nevada region's Science Bowl champions. The teams squared off on the UNLV campus in Las Vegas, where the night before competition, okay, toss up. they got to know the rules and took part in a practice session at the Atomic Testing Museum which offers meeting space to the community next to its 8,000 square feet of exhibit space chronicling the dramatic history of the Nevada test site. Z, 3T. The Science Bowl uses a fast-paced question and answer format with four-person teams facing off head to head. <laughs> trying to be the first to buzz in with the correct answer to any of the questions on science and math. Following the morning competition, a well-deserved lunch break in the UNLV Student Union's Grand Ballroom with a short program featuring speakers who included a couple of representatives from Nevada's congressional delegation, letting the students know how important they are to our nation's future. Nevada 3rd District Congresswoman Dina Titus. I believe that by working together in Congress, in classrooms, on campuses, that we can help young scholars like you encourage you to go into these fields and then provide you with the resources that you need to succeed and put us on the forefront of these areas again. Nevada United States Senator John Ensign. Well, we need to inspire young Americans to go into these fields. So I'm really excited that you're interested as well, but, but if you do end up going into some kind of field that involves science or engineering, mathematics, any of the STEM fields, uh, it's going to be your responsibility to try to also inspire the next generation of Americans. Uh, because 96% of the jobs are produced by 4% of the people. And most of those jobs in the future are going to be produced by those going into the STEM fields. Ensign also presented the 2010 Science Bowl Sportsmanship Award. It's the award going this year to Legacy High School. Then the afternoon meant more competition, teams moving up through the rounds, and teams being eliminated. First place, uh, which is $5,000 to the winning school. The final rounds held in a large classroom as the nerve-wracking battle to crown the 2010 Science Bowl champion team wound down or up. The win for Palo Verde coach Frank Franco is first in 15 tries. We practice a lot. We like this strategy. We use a lot of varsity, our varsity quiz players, you know, just stay active in that and it, it helps in this competition too. And the Palo Verde team members excited to win a trip to compete in the National Science Bowl in Washington, D.C. I've always wanted to go to Washington. I've never been I want to be the president, but we yeah. probably won't. I think we're definitely really excited. Yeah. Be fine. Yeah.